let's look at copying, pasting, duplicating, and also how to achieve the power duplicate functionality. I have a simple document here with a star object. So let's select the star on the layers panel and we'll look at copying and pasting first of all. So on the edit menu, we have copy, which we will choose and then we'll go back to edit and choose paste. And notice here also we have traditional keyboard shortcuts. So Command C, Command V and Command J for copy, paste and duplicate respectively. If you're on Windows, just replace Command with Control. So let's use paste. And we've now made a copy of that star object. But a more efficient way of achieving this, of course, is to use duplicate. So I'll use backspace on the keyboard to delete that second star object. Select the first star and this time go to edit and duplicate. OK, so there is our duplicated copy of the star. And once again, I will just delete it. Now, another way of duplicating is to actually use a keyboard modifier on the canvas. So if I have the move tool selected and I just click to select the star, I can then use command on my keyboard or control on Windows and click drag and notice I've actually made a duplicate of the star object rather than moving the original star. Okay, so again I'll delete that and we will now look at power duplication. So I have my original star Let's create a duplicate of it. This time I'm going to use Command J on the keyboard or Control J on Windows. And let's just move it. So I'm transforming it relative to the initial position. Now, with this second star selected, I will use Command J again to duplicate. And notice that it now duplicates using the relative positioning of the second star. So again, let's create a fourth star using Command J, like so. And of course, we can take this a step further. So I'm just going to delete the duplicated stars, start with the original. So once again, select it, Command J to duplicate. And this time, let's move it down. Let's rotate it and also Let's scale it as well. By the way, to constrain the aspect ratio for vector shapes, you can hold down shift on the keyboard whilst resizing. OK, so let's leave it about there. And then again, with the second star selected, I will use Command J to duplicate. And once again, like so. OK, so you can see it's not just the relative positioning, but also the relative rotation and the relative scale that carries across using Power Duplicate. So there we go, just a quick look at copying, pasting and duplicating.